Spanning Tree Protocol 802.1D takes a considerable amount of time to converge or rebuild uh, the spanning tree topology when a change occurs. And a topology change occurs when a port transitions from the forwarding state to the blocking state or the blocking state to the forwarding state. And those ports that go from the blocking state to the forwarding state have to run through the timers, potentially the max age timer of 20 seconds plus the four delay timer during the listening state, which is 15 seconds, and then another 15 seconds from the four delay timer in the learning state. So a grand total of 50 seconds to transition from the blocking state all the way to the forwarding state in that case. If we look at our example, we have a direct topology change that is occurring on switch four. This direct topology change is a result of, let's say, the link being unplugged or uh, the port failing, the port being shut down potentially, but let's say originally that was the root port. If that was the root port, this was the blocked port in our topology. So that being the blocked port in the topology, if this port fails right here, then that blocked port has to become the root port for the topology. So it becomes the root port. Now that switch four has transitioned that to the root port, it has to notify somebody in the topology that this change has occurred. And it does this with the topology change notification. And who does it send the topology change notification to? The root bridge. So in this example, switch one's the root bridge, it receives the topology change notification. As a result, it has to respond back with a topology change acknowledgement, letting switch four know that it received the notification. But do any of the other switches at this point in time know that this failure has occurred and that this interface has changed and as a result, they have to recalculate the spanning tree topology to make sure that their root ports and designated ports and potentially block ports are still accurate and correct to prevent a loop from occurring? No, they still don't know that. It is up to the root bridge to send out topology change BPDUs. Topology change BPDUs. So with Spanish Tree Protocol 802.1D, it is the root bridge that handles this process. And it's telling all the other switches through these topology change BPDUs that something has a changed, something has occurred, and as a result, please recalculate the spanning tree topology to make sure that your root ports, designated ports, and block ports are correct. This topology change BPDU plays a really important role. Not only do the switches know that a change has occurred, but they have the ability now to remove entries in the MAC address table much quicker than they normally would. What is the default time that a CAM table or a MAC address uh, will stay within that CAM table? By default, it's five minutes, which is 300 seconds. Well, how long does it take spanning tree protocol to converge? 50 seconds in total. So there's a big discrepancy in timers. Spanning tree protocol can, can reconverge really fast. Well, 50 seconds is not really fast. So let me rephrase that. Spanning tree protocol can converge the topology within 50 seconds. But the MAC address table at that point would have potentially old, stale entries that are no longer accurate. So when this topology change BPD is sent out, the switches will take the entries in their MAC address table and drop them down to the forward delay timer, which is 15 seconds times two for a grand total of 30 seconds. So as the switch is transitioning through the listening and learning states, the MAC addresses in the table are now only set with a timer of 30 seconds, so that way they will expire at the end of the learning state and newer MAC addresses 
can be learned. Now, the newer Mac addresses might be the exact same on the same ports because not a whole lot has changed. And that's okay. But it's important that we, we have this discrepancy uh, resolved by ensuring that the switches have the ability to prematurely age out those MAC addresses from the MAC address table when the change occurs.